father and grandfather to suicide. She's hugely passionate about mental health and trying to help others, an interest she shares with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. And today, what a treat. She'll meet uh, Harry and Megan face-to-face to to talk mental health, and Victoria um, joins us now. G'day, Victoria. Good morning. How are you this morning? Good morning. I'm very excited. Thank you so much for having me. I bet you are. Yeah, you're very welcome. So how, um, how far away are they? Do you know what time are you meeting them? I'm not sure what time to expect them. Uh, we're going to be here nice and early and ready for their arrival. So, um, so yes, but sometime this morning. Okay, so you, you'll head upstairs into the Maranui Cafe and you sit there with them. Is that the plan? Yes, um, there's about, I think, about seven organisations that have representatives here today and um, sort of two to three uh, people from each organisation. So a nice um, sort of intimate group, I suppose. Mm. Uh, But the topic, of course, um, intimate is one way to describe it. Personal is another. What will you tell them? What will you tell them about your experience and your losses? Um, I think, yes, obviously it would be great to be able to share, I guess, my personal connection um, with mental health in terms of um, losing my father and grandfather. Um, And I think as well, um, it's great to be able to connect with them, knowing that um, they're also really passionate about mental health and and obviously have been really pushing uh, for awareness of that in the UK. So, yeah, I'd like to be able to tell some of my story and also raise some awareness about Lifeline. And they will know too, because they'll be briefed um, on on all of you and and your personal stories and things like that. So they'll, they'll have an idea. What can you tell me about your dad? Uh, He was an amazing guy, um, full of life. I think uh, very sad to have lost him, but I think he packed more adventure into his life than many people get to do um, in a longer lifetime. Um, And I think it just goes to show that, you know, mental health can affect anyone and anyone can have a number of challenges that maybe they weren't expecting um, that can be really difficult to deal with. And that's why I think organisations like Lifeline are so important to have people there who can um, help you navigate uh, those situations and, and talk about things that maybe you're not comfortable to talk about with other people. Mm, and, and your grandfather too. I mean, were, they, were, were, were they able to talk to anyone? Did they have access to sort of networks to talk to people? I mean, what, what, was, what was their experience? Do you know? Yeah, I think, look, when I was three when my grandfather died, and I definitely think, um, you know, that was a different generation where perhaps nobody knew that was coming and he didn't open up to people but one thing I'm really proud about um, for my dad is that he really had the courage to um, reach out he um, utilised uh, helpline services in Australia he um, he spoke to psychologists, he tried mindfulness you know, I think um, even though he was from a generation where maybe um, there was that stigma about talking out, he really um, he was open with us about what he was going through, and I think that's been really um, awesome in terms of um, helping me in the grieving process to know that he did everything he could to stay with us. Mm. See, that, that's, it's, it's interesting that you say that too, and I am sorry for your loss. Uh, you know, sympathies from from, from our you. show here. Um, and it's not easy to ask these questions. So, so. <laughs> With your dad, he tried everything, and he spoke and he reached out, all that sort of thing. So there'll be other people like this in this situation where they want to, they've done everything they think they can, and they're, they're still in this, this um, black hole. What should happen next? What should they do? What sort of services should be available from, from, from where you sit? Yeah, I think, look, everybody's different and everybody's got their own journey and it's not a one-size-fits-all approach, but I think um, the key is I think it's really courageous to speak out and I think, you know, if you go and see someone and that person doesn't work for you, then try someone else and, and I think um, it's really important that we acknowledge that um, that is really brave and courageous to just keep trying and sometimes that might just be getting out of bed again in the morning and, and talking to someone else and talking to people you trust and I think one thing that Lifeline has taught me is how important that connection with other people um, is and what a difference it can make and you know you might not have the answers to somebody's problems but um, sometimes just by sitting with them and um, listening and sharing um, their problem I guess um, that can be helpful as well so I think just keep trying I'm sure you know my dad had many more adventures ahead of him that he he could have had and um, I think it's a shame that uh, obviously people sometimes feel like that's their only option Mm. so I don't believe it is. I don't believe it's ever the only option. Loneliness is not something we've spoken about a lot on this program. We, it's probably a bit of an oversight. We probably should have. L- loneliness is a, is a is an issue, isn't it? People, people are lonely, aren't they, as well? Definitely. And I think sometimes we don't take the time to connect with each other properly. I think when I say connecting, it's about, you know, stopping and really listening generously and not judging and... Um, you know, just being with somebody in, in that space. And I think a lot of a lot of Kiwis actually 
don't have people that they can reach out and talk to and definitely some of the calls that we get through Lifeline are just from people that are feeling really isolated and I think um, sometimes you underestimate the power of that connection and how important it is um, for us to, to live happy, healthy lives. Mm. Hey, well said, well spoken this morning. Thank you so much for your time and also can you say to the uh, Royals um, good morning from the AM show as well. Just send, us a, send them a little uh, message from us, okay? Thank you so much.